So now, what would you do if a company decided to put a gate across your garden path? Or if a company decided to put a gate or a fence, a locked and bolted one, across the road to your house, or the road to your work, or the road to your mum's or something? You wouldn't be happy, would you? Now, the road is a right of way, and so is a foot. And we're going down this footpath to where somebody has done just that, and we're out in force. The purple posse is here. This is our little army for the day, asserting our right to use a public right of way. Purple's up the front there, it's just been going. I expected two or three people, and he's got this lot, and that good. People do care, don't they? So why am I, as a Kettering resident, bothered about a blockage on a Wellingborough footpath? Well, it's because this is the footpath that I used to use. I don't drive. When I lived in Iron Ferris, I would walk this path to get to Wellingborough. When I went cycling along the A45 as it was, I think it's the A450 or something now. Um, yeah, it's how I would get to Wellingborough. I would go down into the valley to cross it to go to Earthlingborough. And this valley literally was my playground all through my teens. And um, also, and as well as supporting me mate Purple and all these wonderful people that helps. <laughs> oh. Who would live in a house like this? Look at that You miss this if you go by the road Way back, before there was a purple, literally about two or three years before he was even born, and my mother and father and a group from Higham called the Higham Ferris Footpath Group went on a similar crusade to this. And instead of a gate being put across a footpath, back then it was a warehouse getting put across a footpath. And that was one of the Whitworths warehouses in Earthlingborough. And that stopped us, I believe, walking from High and Ferrers through Earthlingborough uh, along top to Findon. So, and they refused or failed to put in a diversion. So, my mother being the person she is, got the bit between her teeth and handled all the legal side of this. And Whitworths had to cut doors in the walls of their warehouse so that people using the footpath could walk through. I'm sure they've put in a footpath diversion since, but yeah. And we got on the Anglian news, got on the local TV news. I've got a bit of a pedigree with stuff like this, but I've always been second fiddle at least. So yeah, look at this, this is our little people's army, this isn't a footpath group, this isn't a group particularly of anything other than people who watch Purple's videos. And he was expecting two or three. Good old boy. It's so nice to see the people give a monkeys about a footpath. It's really good to see. These are our rights, we're on the side of the law. <laughs> he 
It's our little freedom for tooting moment. All right, we're just getting up to where the gate was, is, whatever. So this used to be long, long, long ago, a mill. And it was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. So clearly this isn't the original buildings. It's been used for loads of other things in the time since um, I know it as Chettles. And it was where they would render the offal from the nearby abattoir and it stank to high heaven and I could smell it in the summer. My summer smell of offal for most of my teenage years. So this is the path. Actually the path. Okay. So, is the gate still there? As you see, they've done their best to make the footpath look lovely. Is it gone? Uh, is someone waiting? <laughs> Yeah, they'll let us do. They'll have to. It's the. This is our public footpath. Being denied access to a public footpath. You be careful to, how, how you're saying no, this. You will not be. You would like to be denied it, but you are not to film on this land. Or take land. Well, the path is public land. Mm. What, what, what are you going to film? Uh, our way through. It's part of the video. We're going through to Rushton. And that's what I do every Sunday as I film. Uh, two weeks ago, I filmed my way up to the Rushton Model Way Club. Yes. This is what I do for my channel. I film my journey. But that's fine, but we don't want to film. Let them in. And that's another reason why we need to... Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. So much for the gate well, being I'll gone. I'll have one of them, just so the right. viewers know. And then I'll let you read out as well. This gate here, you were given, you were served 28 days notice to have this gate removed. Now, why is this gate still here whilst this is still well, maybe, going on? I do not know. Maybe you should read the letter, and maybe it's because. For and like it's on a Sunday where you are not on work. For people like you, yep. who have been found wandering, trespassing. Oh, is it? It's not trespassing. It's not trespassing on a footpath. footpath. No, I haven't. Oh, yes, Give me proof. Have. Give me proof. Well, my husband. Uh, all right, okay. What? By the guy that was running the pallet centre here that showed me through. I had but permission. You didn't have any and that was, yeah, but you did. When it, last year, there was pallets at the back here. And right. the guy that was running the pallets let me have a look through to the and that was Emphasis there on public footpath. So, good try. We can go to court on that one. How are you getting on with that, buddy? Anyway, I've just seen you, mate. Missed you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice guy. He is, I like him, yeah. So, as you see, there are dogs. They are pet dogs. They're not guard dogs. But I have to Look, get them on their lead before they are they're allowed out to go to the toilet when I'm here working. Oh, look, it's even used asbestos may remain in the air in the air for 48 to 72 hours. I'm sorry, but isn't that all over our school still? Yeah, Excuse yeah, me, yeah. yeah. That's true. I look may be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're standing right by where it is. Oh, right, okay. And that is going to happen. We'd have walked through if you'd let us. <laughs> <Sorry>? <laughs> that, that should have been taken. We wouldn't be standing here if there weren't a gate. 
<laughs> we wouldn't be stood here if there weren't a gate. We'd yeah, have gone no, through. It's a public footpath. It actually states in the law that you are not allowed by any means necessary, whether you believe you've got thousands of pounds worth of cash in your containers, as we were previously told, um, or anything such as a matter, you know what I mean? You can't obstruct a public bloody footpath. It's You've already been given the order to get it removed. This, this site has you've had to be exported for the past 20 years. Yes, you have. There's, we've got signage. You've only been here for the last year. 20, it, was, it was before us. Oh, had okay. to be exported. What, when no one would ever come anywhere near this area because it was a chettles and stunk of death. Right. Now this, this place has finally started to clear of the smell of death. People are well, starting yeah, to walk, see. especially after the this pandemic we've been through. People are starting to appreciate these walks. Like yeah. And we're now meeting these landowners, and especially after CTS done what they did with a public footpath in, in Brigstock, we're not allowing this. Taking the sign down, sticking on the rubbish? Yeah, yeah, uh, and the public footpath sign that was taken off the fence and dumped in your yard, has that been put back on the fence yet? Yeah, well, yeah, well... Uh, Thank you. Woo! Yay! Let's have it. There we go. There we go. Well, as long as this guy's here, I'm fine with that. Yeah, but it's when we have to come to this gate, like last week, and you've got the little guy who's trying to dictate to me when I'm making a demand to open a gate and decides to walk He's off. He's a security guard and he's just doing his job. He doesn't know the law though, does he? Thank you very much. We just want to go through to the other side and then walk back. So wait by the gate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> These folk are coming back again. We're not. We're going. Yeah, we, we, we're. Uh... So. So that's, that's the people who basically blocked it. Well done, purple people. Well done, purple people. Well, I say I can understand them trying to protect their property and everything, but they have to protect our right of way as well. So yeah. Oh, knock. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Hey. See, keep throwing some at the wall. Some will stick. So I still found that quite intimidating. So anybody who wants to come and walk this on their own midweek, they're going to have to deal with that, and that should not be allowed. People should be able to come through without a confrontation whatsoever. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't need that. And still you have to ring a number to the security guards when they've then got your contact details. I, I, don't, I don't believe you. So I would really love some extra help on that. Well, thank you to everybody who's come out on this wonderful walk. Yeah. Sorry I've annoyed you a little bit more, but that's my job. That's what we do. And if you went annoying not someone, then you went doing life right. So we'll call that in mind. <laughs> have a wonderful one. Yeah, of course. Go for it. Yay! Lovely. Beautiful.